Hey, what's up, guys? Warlock Spill back here, and today we're actually playing one of the funniest decks I think that's currently in the game, which is called Rag Rogue or Executus Rogue. So, for all those who don't know what this deck is all about or what this deck even does, you basically play Mill Rogue with Kingsbane. And your endgame win con is not typically milling out your opponent, like in Mill Rogue. But it's playing, you have Executives played, right? And you kill it off, right? You play it for as a 1-1 with Anka, and you backstab it. Then you play Cloak of Shadows, which makes you, give you stealth for one turn. And you play an Evasion. You don't have to play the Evasion, but it kind of just helps. Next, every single time you're going to play Test after that, it's going to cast all the Rogue cards you've played. Because the Ragnaros portrait you get is a neutral card, so the rogue cards are not part of your class anymore so basically you cycle infinite tests by uh using your hero power which deals eight to a random enemy every single turn hitting your opponent's face busy cast vanish every single turn so yeah it's a really funny meme rogue deck and uh yeah we play these videos uh these games on stream so if you guys want to catch them live go follow me on twitch you know i try to be live at least three four times a week i don't really have a schedule i just go live whenever i can so yeah, you know, follow me there. Follow me on Twitter to know whenever I go live. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like this video if you enjoyed the video. And yeah, uh, let's hop right into the games. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Peace. Okay. Well, mage might be a little bit hard, but... Nice. You having a drink? That's good. I also got me some water, so... Yeah, yeah. I feel like you keep Secret Passage. I feel like this card's really fucking good. Okay, we got the Executus. So we need to play Anka to make this a one-cost minion, right? Yeah. Okay, interesting why it does that. Okay, okay, okay. This feels like an okay start. I don't think I want to play Evasion yet. No. Nah. I just stab that here, I think. I stab that and I get really sad. Okay, game. That's not good for me. <laughs> I'm not sure what's in this deck, so... Deck tracker, come to my savior? Where the fuck is Rogue in here? Here. Rag. Uh, there's no way I'm able to get this onto stream. Hey, Meat Pants, thanks for subscribing. It's, uh, pretty dope. I think you're the first sub. Alright. That's... That's not great. That is... That's not great. <laughs> hey, yeah. Is that... Uh, that's the that's the base fucking badge. Okay. Night, bro. Okay, that's not what I thought this would be. I don't want to play that here. Fuck. Ah, uh, that's really fucking bad. That's actually super fucking bad. Uh... Okay. Okay. D not seeing my deck here is actually tilting the ever-living shit out of me. My guess is this is Explosive Ruins. Why did I take a wild guess? I guess I just have to give him a card because I need more cards here. This works too. Please bang a mark seven. Okay, okay. So these cords are actually kind of huge, right? Looking could just prep this out here. It's most likely doing that, that, or oh yeah, that, that, or this, this, this. This was such a bad meme for him to actually hit. 
<sighs> okay. I actually really want to draw a second Shadow Step here. Because I want to go this into Shadow Step to hopefully burn him cards. Maybe I shouldn't have Shadow Step that. If he has Double Seeker here, I'm fucked. It still allows him to do that, that. Even Vanish would be super sick. So I can slam this coin, coin, rep, Vanish. Ooh. Okay. Pretty big. Murmur, 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 murmur. I'll hit there first. We still have some, like, really insane cards in, like, Swindle. Oh, that was actually really... Oh, my God, that was insane for us. That was actually super insane for us. Um, We have some really good cards left. We have second coin. We have a prep left. Second backstab. Second Cold Light, Lore Keeper, Tess, Vanish. So basically here, once we hit Tess, we win the game. I'm not mistaken, that's how this goes. I'm fairly certain that's how this goes. Okay. That was such an unfortunate hit. I take 7 for free here. So, I need to hit Tess. If I hit Tess this turn, I slam Cloak Majo. Major Domo. I proc the Major Domo. And then I just slam Tess and I win the game from there. I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain he can't kill me at that point. I have like 3 turns kind of hit to hit Tess. That's the thing. Uh, explosive runes doesn't fuck us, right? I don't think it does. Test one time? Ooh, Lord Keeper is actually really good here. Test is the last expensive card in our deck. Now I'm fairly certain we've won the game. What am I playing next stream? I have no fucking idea. My streams, I kind of live them one at a time. I have no idea what I'm playing until I play them. You have awakened me too soon, Nixekitus. That flips you. I didn't think that did not make you no longer stealth. Oh, this stream? Oh, the next deck. Uh, oh, What am I playing as the next deck? I have no idea. I don't know. That's something we can at least talk about. Um, What do you guys want to see? I was thinking, I kind of want to play more Reno Lock. I was thinking uh, possibly Mechathune Reno, but or just regular Reno, or just maybe even just something else. I don't, I don't know. I generally don't know what the fuck I want to play next. This deck was just one of those decks that I lost to at one point on ladder, and it seemed really funny. And now I want to play it. Okay, my deck list is back. Um, yeah. Your passage is huge. Window is also really fucking good. Um, but yeah, or even maybe some cube. Unless you don't want to see cube, I don't know. I the thing is, I like to I like to have people help me decide what deck we play. So yeah, for right now, I have no idea what the fuck deck I want to play. Can I coin swindle here? Why the fuck not? 
There's so many good spells I want to draw in my deck. That was actually one of the weakest minions to draw. Things like Prize Vendor are really good. Um, Lore Keeper, Anka, Major Domo. Those are all like really, really good cards to hit. Second Secret Mage. I have not hit a Secret Mage between like Bronze and here. Like I think I hit like two. And I've queued into two in a row. Super unlucky. I'll just do that. I'll draw three here. I could have prevented that by punching him in the face. But at this point, I'm hoping to draw like cold lights, right? Cold lights into shadow step into cold lights, things like that. Um, so if he has a whole bunch of cards in hand, just burn a whole bunch of cards. It's it's not the worst for me. So yeah. Ooh, vanish. That's actually a really good card in this scenario. Fuck, I always forget to attack first. You always want to attack before you gain your armor, because now if I... I mean, not like my deck does have a heal, but if my deck had a card that healed me, say Mistress and Mixtures, say, instead of this, um, I would rather lose the health so this way the Mistress can heal me back up, versus... Um, like, wasting the armor. And then the heal would only heal me for two instead of four. So, yeah. Actually, I want to change the name of the stream. Ooh, grinding some rag. Er. Yeah, I guess I might as well punch with us first. Why did I... I forgot that Rogue's Hero Power doesn't buff Kings of Ain. I don't know why I would think that. Yes, I'm always looking for deck suggestions. No matter what deck I'm playing, I'm always, always looking for deck suggestions. Fuck you, Counterspell. My hand here is actually awful. I need to, like, hit cards that actually do things. I shard, I shard, rep, prize hunter. I'm looking for a shadow step. Really, that's the minion he hits? So unfortunate. That's such a bad minion for him to hit, too. Uh, I would, but I actually don't have two Bloods of the Ancient Ones. But, with that being said, I think that deck actually only needs one. But you can actually try that out. That sounds like another good meme. That actually sounds like a really fucking good meme. Just like a super off-meta Big Priest deck. If I have a Blood of the Ancient One, I'll try that out. And I'm pretty sure I do. I'll try that out. That sounds like a good meme. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's best draw possible? I would like to say it's Cold Light Oracle, but I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I can, I can, uh, I can understand that. I'll probably swap, um, unless you're already playing it, I'd probably swap one out for Sphere. No explosive ruins one time. He had the explosive ruins one time. Second, another one. Can't believe he actually had both Netherwind portals. Or he's running two Netherwind portals. That's like a really old version of that deck, I think. Here he takes so much damage. Or actually, no, I don't take that much. Hey, how's it going?
Okay, so here my guess is he's doing hit. I want to say hit, 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 hit. That's my guess. But clearly I was wrong because he hit that with that. Uh, do I know this is not counterspell? No, I do not. Fuck. I was going to just slam vanish here, but if it's counterspell, I'm fucked if I do that. That's best case scenario, bro. The best case scenario for me. I don't know why he would have ever tested with that one. First, I don't see why, but... Okay. Hmm. I think we can slam this here. Okay. That's actually worst case scenario for him to for it to die. But now I'm pretty sure one of these at least is counterspell. Which I dislike a lot. Hmm. I do have this. Which is a very nice play here. Okay, so he doesn't have secrets in hand. He has one more secret I think in his entire deck. So I think that's it. Fairly certain at least. Rock the counter spell. Rock the ruins. And become stealth. Oh wait, I can't attack. Almost fucked up there. I'm gonna develop that as well. If he can't attack me, um... Right, because next turn the plays Anka. Ooh, Fireball Burn is actually huge. Next turn the plays Anka. And then it's it's Anka plus Shroud and Cold Light, I think. I don't have enough mana for that. Fuck. It has to be this plus this. I have to keep. Hmm. So you have to draw a backstab, right? No, I just don't think I can ever beat that deck. There's the backstab. Okay, well. The last secret he has up is Ice Block. Oh, I can't even summon that. Fuck. Alright. Fireball. Cloud Prince hit with the 5-5. Five five. It's only 17. So I think I theoretically won this one, right? Last card in my deck is Kingsbane Tess. Actually, Kingsbane is... Oh, no, wait. Kingsbane Tess cast recast the Kingsbane... Breaking the carrot kingsman you have, shuffling into your deck. I see, I see. Okay. Okay. I think this one is a win. They slam this, this, this next turn. And if I draw kingsman, I slam the kingsbane. And then I draw test the turn after, and I slam test which itself casts Vanish to bounce it back to my hand and allows me to press Hero Power. And I win. Oh, Evasion is whenever you... What the fuck? I thought Evasion was dam was attacked. Oh, so he actually just can't die anymore, basically, from this point on. Interesting. Oh, I can't even kill this now? Feels bad. 
Oh, now I can kill it. Perfect. I'm not mistaken, this is the win con of the deck. This, 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 this. Okay, now I think I win. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can actually see that being a thing. Does next time I just play test, right? And I win the game? Did we win? Are we winners? I think we're winners. Okay. That's why you don't play any of the rogue draw. Interesting. I did not know that's why you didn't play any of the rogue draw. Also just plays vanish every turn. Also, apparently I have infinite mana, basically. Oh, I'm gonna have infinite of these, basically, my de in my hand now, too. That could be a little problematic, but that's fine. Oh, I should have played the Kingspan. Whoops. I should have just slammed this. That's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is in fact fine. Uh, we lost the one secret mage. We beat the other one. Easy clap. They, in fact, have no idea what we're capable of. He floods the board now, but Tess just does it again. Oh, this is such a good meme. I know this is Ice Block, so... I have another King's Bane to play here. Oh my god, I'm gonna put so many King's Banes into my deck. <laughs> the worst part is you have to sit through all the fucking animations. I think that's actually the fucking the worst part. Oh fuck, does my Tess go into my deck now? No, Tess is still gonna be in my hand, I think. I think that's how that works, is Tess goes into my hand. Replay every card from another class you've played this- Oh, so it does cast multiple Tesses. Interesting. I guess I should always hear power afterwards. Huh. I should always hear power afterwards, so I would've killed him here, but that's- that one's on me. That one is 100% on me. Now he's just AFK. That's a dick move. There's also no card in his deck that deals 8 damage, so I can theoretically just end turn here, and I'll be fine. <laughs> he just simply the same minions he played last time. Except for the one that I got nerked by fucking... Uh, my hero power. Wait, that wasn't an ice block? Oh, it's flame ward. What the fuck? Okay. Whoops. Let me play King's Bane. Oh, I killed him. I can't play King's Bane. Fuck. I wanted to get more XPs. Fuck that.
<laughs> How mad do you think my opponent is right now? On a scale of like 1 to 10. If I was him, I'd be fucking furious. Actually fucking furious. <laughs> he just got memed on super fucking hard by a deck that now has like fucking 30 Kingsbanes in it. Uh, <laughs> I feel like the biggest douche canoe play in this deck. Ricardo B two thousand, thanks for following the channel. Uh, I have to go back here to reset deck tracker. I think deck tracker. Okay, hold up. Delete. Yes. My collection. The deck is still here, right? Where the fuck is the rag? Doesn't like me using the new ones. So if I go back like this, is it gonna recognize the deck? Okay. I think that updated the deck, so now it should be fine on the side. Okay. We chillin' now. We chillin'. Ugh. But what decks do you guys want to see after this? You guys want to see uh, see some uh, rogue? We can play some ro or some uh, some. Uh, I can't even think of the name of the fucking class at the moment. Uh, this hunt's actually broken. Some warlock. We can play some warlock. We can play some big priest. We can play some druid. We can play some paladin. I've been meaning to try the deck death and taxes paladin build. I do like de death and taxes in magic, so I don't see why I wouldn't like it in Hearthstone. Ooh, Lorekeeper. Early Lorekeeper is actually really fire. It means you could go off on eight. Right? Yeah, it means I could go off on eight, which is insane. I think I'd try to save some of my removal for then. Oh my god. Do I'm Lore Keeper next turn? That seems broken, no? I mean, the faster I go off, the faster we win the game. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Major Dumbo going up in cost doesn't matter. Neither does... Uh, uh, Kingsman kind of sucks, but what can you do? Okay. <laughs> Earliest Lork... I guess no. Before when you used to coin Lork Keeper, it was the same speed. But... This is a turn 9 I go off. Oh my fucking god. Double... That's just a piece of garbage. He's actually just a piece of fucking garbage. I hate him and everything he stands for. Okay, well. I need to kill those hopefully before I draw the Anka. I just have a 10 mana test, which is the problem. It means I have to survive to turn. Oh, I can't win anymore. Interesting. This card is so fucking problematic. I can't even hit Cloak here. The plan was to do this and to prep Cloak, but it costs one more because of this. And one fucking man off. Oh, that's fucking... Fuck this card. Like, actually fuck this card. Do I have an Albatross Priest deck? Is that the, the deck that plays Benedictus? If so, yes I do. 
By the way, fuck the Paladin deck. I want to play it just because it's so fucking good right now. I think it might actually be the best deck in the game at the moment. That Paladin deck is utterly fucking broken. I have a feeling the the two mana watch post is going to get nerfed. I just have a feeling it's going to get like bumped up in mana to like three or four. It's such a powerful effect. Not having Queen with this feels so bad. Yeah, I have a list, but I, my list is like awful. Uh, I don't want that. I do want the Swindle. Swindle is like one of the best cards in this deck. Man, I was memeing so hard last game. I just needed to survive like 10 more fucking turns and I would have won the game. Only 10 more fucking turns. If this is Big Priest, I actually have a chance, especially with this hand. If it's Raza Priest... Damn, that's a lot of fucking dust. The deck is really fucking expensive though. Benedictus is kind of just a waste of dust, though. It's a fun meme card, but it's not a good card. It's a card you can... I think you could climb with that deck to, like, gold. And then unless you're, like, a fucking master and you get really fucking lucky, I don't think you're able to climb much above gold with that deck. But up until gold, I'm pretty sure it's mostly just meme decks anyway, so... Ugh. Can't get past plat 5. That's how I currently feel with fucking diamond 8. I think you could climb to gold with it. Honestly, I've seen people climb to ranks with the weirdest fucking decks. I mean, obviously it helps if you take like a really powerful archetype and then you just make it like could be slightly worse or whatever. Um... Like, I'm thinking something like, uh... If you take something like... Like the Raza Priest archetype, right? And you you can, like, fuck that list up no matter which way. Like, I played a list that runs Togwaggle. And I went 4-1 and one with the deck. So I think any list has the opportunity or has the possibility to pop the fuck off. Like, straight up, I think any deck does. I can burn a card here. Is that worth it, though? Do that into that, but that's not worth it yet. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the burning one card here. I mean, I could be playing against Raza Priest, right? And I burn Anduin, and I just win the game instantaneously. Well, that doesn't tell me what he is playing. I was hoping to hit a minion to this way know if it's Rotha Priest or not. Or hit like a red spell to know it's Big Priest. But that that burn, those two cards he's played has actually told me nothing. And how he's been playing this doesn't tell me anything. If he coins here, it's most likely a Rotha Priest. Nope, it was big. Yeah. Yeah, like, that that archetype has a possibility of fucking most decks in the game. It's super, super powerful. I was really hoping to hit uh, Shadow Step. Okay. Oh, it's a really fucking good burn, actually. That's a really, really good burn. That's fine. I'm fine with not having a board. Really, really fucking fine. Okay, so now I'm looking to draw Lore Keeper or Tess. Oh, well, I drew Tess, so... I don't have Backstab. Uh, I want to slam this here. 
into Secret Passage, but I'm so worried that he just has something random to cuck me. Then he hit the exactly the last backstab. I should not have used backstab, that was a huge misplay on my part. Fuck it. Okay, well, at least... I guess I can slum this here. Uh, fuck. Okay, give me that. He also gets rid of your armor. I did not know that. I did not know that Rag also got rid of your armor. Interesting. But I think this is a win here. I'm fairly certain actually this is a win. I'll do the next two turns just to uh, lower all it. Vanish plus this. And we chillin'. Yeah. Uh, prep. Vanish. Prep. Cloak. Freeze that. Hero power. I guess I should have hero powered first, but eh. You hate aggro. I already have Reno Warlock, Reno Priest, Reno Druid, Big Priest, Taunt Druid, Dark Glare, Mally Druid, and Q Block. You hate aggro. You could build Taunt Warrior. Like the my EDH warrior deck. It's a really fucking expensive. It's fairly decent against aggro. But the thing is, at the moment, the aggro deck that's a problem crushes control because it's death and taxes, right? He has no idea what I'm playing, by the way, so this is fine. <laughs> he has no idea what the fuck I'm playing. The best part. Oh, I actually should have used... The coin to play the Kingsbane. Whoops. Oh, I guess I'll play it next turn. I'll have 10 mana. Okay. You don't like the bald guy? <laughs> that is I think, the funniest name I've ever heard anyone give that card. The bald guy. Oh, uh, my opponent's mad. He's mad. I can just tell that he's mad. And I love every single bit of him being mad here. I love every single bit of it. That might make me a terrible person. I really don't care. It is well played. And he knows it. He's like, huh. I'm getting dicked. Well played. <laughs> oh, this deck actually fucks control up the ass. It's so funny. You can build this deck. You want to build a control deck. It's kind of control-ish. It's a good meme. That's for damn sure. You have no idea what I'm capable of. This deck actually has to build, be built so specifically. That's beautiful. Another six mana test. Let's fucking go. It is brilliant. Oh, I actually can't even play this, lol. Okay. 
Well, oh, the giant druid? That deck is so much fun, honestly. It's actually so much fucking fun. Like, Celestial? Yeah, if it's Celestial Alignment. I thought Celestial Alignment would be a better deck than it actually is. 100%. I still think it's a really, really good deck. But I think I thought it, I thought it had more potential than it actually does, apparently. Oh, the top card of his deck was Masteras. Ha ha ha! Oh, that was so not fun for him, but it was so much fun for me. The problem is this deck I don't think ever beats death in Texas. And it's super slow, so it takes forever to climb with this deck. But, if you get lucky enough, I think you're able to climb with this deck. Just avoid hitting death and taxes. What's the rag rogue? You're about to see, my friend. It is a good fucking meme. Oh, another priest. What you know? Oh, that's a good card. So we're digging here for card draw. And Secret Passage. This hand is good. Not great, but it is good. This deck brings a smile to my face. <laughs> oh, I feel bad. I've queued into it exactly once. And I'm pretty sure the deck was like a thing for like a week. So people just probably don't remember it, or they queued into, like, a couple of them. Very few people, I think, actually remember queuing into a lot of them. So, for me, it's really funny being someone that has never really played it. These people that are like, oh, this is fun, it's just a random Kingsbane Rogue. No, it's not. It's, it's far from a Kingsbane Rogue. Super far from a Kingsbane Rogue. Ah, <laughs> imagine hero pairing on two, lol. This is actually one of the slowest draws I've drawn with this deck. Okay, all I need to do is find a Lore Keeper here. I want to go turn 2 Lore Keeper with this deck, just because I think that would be hilarious. Turn 1 Kingsbane, turn 2 Lore Keeper, pass. Beat him down with a 4-5. I wanted to draw cards here. In best case scenario, he draws cards this way. I mean, the thing is, with this hand... I can hit a Shadow Step next turn and still burn him cards. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a fairly good card here. I want Shadow Step? No Shadow Step. Shadow Step? No Shadow Step. Oh, but there's the Lore Keeper. Lore Keeper's huge. Lore Keeper's actually... This card is a ginormous here. I think this is a win. This is a win, boys. This is a fucking win. <laughs> I have three courts and a prep. <laughs> ah, yes. It's okay. Don't be concerned. Just acknowledge the fact that this is a turn eight win. That's what I did. Next turn, it's Executus into... Or, sorry, Benedictus into Anka Loring Executus. Uh... Yeah, I can imagine that this deck was not fun to play against. Oh, I mean... What I provide? I need to draw this in the next card. I need to play both of them here. So, okay. So now that I'm holding the whole win con, this deck wins by... You play Tess, right? Galias? Galias? I hope that's how you pronounce it. 03, thanks for following the channel. So, how this deck wins? Oh my god. Imagine playing one card in your turn. Lol. Okay. So, next turn, no matter what he plays, I slam Vanish. The turn after that, my play is Evasion. 
Executus, Backstab Executus, Cloak. On seven. So he has exactly one turn to kill me. And he has nothing on board. The turn I play Executus, I am both... They, they, I can't be targeted because of Cloak, right? I have with Stealth. And if he deals damage to me somehow, I have Evasion that triggers. What happens after that is I play Tess. You are now a neutral hero. So, Tess will cast both Cloak, Evasion, and Vanish every single turn. Yes, obviously. And then what happens when you play that every single turn, you win. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's a, oh, I forgot end turn. He has to kill me exactly here. He has no cards on the battlefield. Three cards in hand, discounted all of his spells by three. Oh. Interesting card you got there. Very interesting. It'd be a shame if I couldn't be targeted and you can't do shit now. It'd be a shame. <laughs> that's what. That's fucking hilarious, because that's what I think. What about Mechathun? No, no, no. See, see, Mechathun is too quick. Now my opponent has to suffer through the pain of just my board not dying. Also, since you've played Kingsbane, you'll never fatigue. Because you'll always be putting Kingsbane back into your deck. Yeah, it's off meta right now. This deck is also off meta, but less people know about it. Which is what makes it better. <laughs> and since I have played double coin here, I can hero power. And he'll eventually just die to me dealing eight. It's a fantastic thing. I'll just add this to a list of cards I've played. Yeah. I add that to the list of cards I've played just so there's uh, more chance that I don't burn. Although I don't, I think it's actually impossible to burn tests in this deck. Which is the cool part. Because even if you do summon um, Anka, uh, there's always going to be one spot in your hand when you draw all your spells, I guess. Um, so yeah. Four more spells to draw. No, we win. If you play something, I'm just throwing away the backstab. Because I don't need it anymore. And the thing, I just throw away all the super cheap spells that I have. Like, even if I'm not getting any value out of it. If I can just go prep Secret Passage. Or prep, well, it would have to be prep Secret Passage. I just take the opportunity to do that. And, uh, yeah. If I was him, I'd concede. Because he doesn't win here. He wins this game 0% of the time from now on. I don't think he understands what's going on. <laughs> Sounds a little rude, but I don't think he understands what's going on. He thinks there's still a chance that he doesn't just get uh, out, uh, out memed. He might have rag, but he summoned all the minions from his deck and he didn't have rag there. I kind of doubt it. Also, no, it doesn't matter. Now I have four armor, so it doesn't actually matter. I survived one rag shot. I guess you can have multiple rag shots, but... What's the chances of that? Low. I have two Tesses in my hand now. Two of them. GG. Easy clap. Easiest of all the claps. And I have minions on the board to tank. Uh, For all the people who hate Big Priest, 
I'm getting revenge for every single person who hates Big Priest. Uh, this is such a good meme. Again, this is also the first time in forever I'm seeing Big Priests. He's wondering about a lot of things. So, the thing is, Benedictus is a neutral minion. All the uh, portrait cards are coded to be the class type that they are. So, Major Domo is actually a neutral minion. So, it makes your hero power, or your hero being Rag, neutral, and no longer Rogue. 